<laughs> Hello, my name is Nick Arojo, and welcome to Brooklyn. And we are on Brooklyn Live, and I'm here. She's back by demand. The lady that with the most is Karen. She's my. Oh, look at that retail shelf behind. Very nice. That's our Belvedere retail. And then here we have uh, Lauren, who's Hi. taking her test next week. So if you yep. want to see a color presentation, Lauren's been helping with Brooklyn Live for the last couple of months. She's getting a haircut today, so she looks great for her test out, which is going to happen next Thursday. Yep, exactly. Here in New week. York, in this salon, what time's the test? Seven. Seven o'clock. So if you're around, you want to check out what an Orojo test out looks like. The door's there, it will be open, you're all welcome. Yeah, we'll have champagne, maybe some strawberries dipped in chocolate. Ooh, dipped oh, in yeah. chocolate. Oh, yeah. I like a little chocolate. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what we're going to do today. So she sent me some inspiration. So you'll see we have some undercut. And uh, she's, got, she's got, this was one shot. So you can see, this is quite simple, but there's an asymmetry to it. Short through the side. And then here we have the other. Again, heavy top, short underneath. So that's her inspiration. She kind of already has, I'll spin around. She kind of already has some of this undercut in here. You can see that it doesn't fall all the way into the nape. You can also see through here, she has no undercut. So as it stands right now, I want to kind of simplify the shape. I think in order for this to look really edgy and cool, we've got to keep it sim a simpler. So what I've done is I've pre-sectioned. And the way in which I've pre-sectioned is I've used triangles, and triangles are very good for working on the head shape. So we kind of address what she already has, because that's already there. This is a little longer. And as I'm just looking, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if I, I kind of like a little bit of softness right in here. I think that might actually look good if I can get some connectivity between some of these panels. That could make it look nicer. I've kind of created a little zigzag sectioning and I've tried to tie it into the opposite side. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to simplify by cutting this shorter. And then I believe I might try and keep a little bit of softness just on the exterior so it's not just short at the back and long on the top. Because when I'm looking here, see she's got this lengthy, I think that's maybe a little bit more of her hairline. This one you can see is super buzzed. But I like the idea of maybe keeping a little bit of softness just through the edges, but taking this shorter. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is what I've just shown you is the roadmap. And I've used my Erosio clips, which are available on erosiopro.com. And today we have a 20% discount. So if you're interested for today and tomorrow on Erosio Pro, uh, you can check out any of our, our tools, dryers, scissors, razors, clips, brushes, combs, underwear. No, there's no underwear. <laughs> just to make sure you're listening. 20% uh, off and the code is March Madness because we have a mad march and it just began. So I'm going to use some hydro mist and I'm going to try and kind of get rid of the underneath first because that's the most important thing. I'm going to cut it really quite, quite tight around the ear but then I may leave a little bit of softness through the exterior on the bottom. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to just take out a panel. Once you've pre-sectioned, take out a panel and let's make this nice and tight. And then we can work short to that area. If you can get right in there, Mrs. Karin. Or Miss Karin, because you're not married, are you? No. I heard a soft no. <laughs> so nice and tight, this is the little strip. And I'm gonna make sure that we don't, I don't wanna build up to this. So I take this finger tight, and then we'll quickly cut it down, and then I'll do some scissor over comb. I'll work on the underneath before I start to drop down the three different panels that we have 
through the top. So you see, just cutting this nice and short, this is the transition. And I'm just literally taking a half inch section around the sectioning that I've already done. And I'm just cutting this in, and then I'm gonna to start to work all the rest of the hair into that. So feel free, if you are tuning in, feel free to uh, get involved, ask questions, certainly not just about what we're doing here, but anything that's happening because we are about to embark on what I call March Madness. And March Madness is uh, it's pretty crazy. It started with me coming back from LA last night. I arrived because I was in Laguna where I was uh, training and teaching and sharing. And I was also in Santa Monica where I was teaching a classic cutting class. And uh, that was a lot of fun. We also did our Happy Mondays event in Santa Monica, which was great. What I've done is I've created a panel. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to start seeing how I can create. I'm gonna work from here across. I know that this hair's gonna come in short, but I really, because I was talking about that little bit at the beginning, about maybe trying to keep a little softness just through the nape. Let's have a look and see if I can do that. Just let's take this out. Scissor over comb. Just taking that hair shot through the hairline. Because her hair grows up right there. And, and we're gonna see if I can get this to work and if I can't get it to work, I'll zip it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work through And I'm just gonna work this in with my fingers. Working through the nape with my fingers. So my fingers are elevating away just a little so that it's not gonna be completely buzz buzzed through the nape. Tim Hartley joined. Tim Hartley. Hi, Tim. How are you, buddy? I hope you're good. Hopefully one day we'll get to see you here in New York City, Tim. Uh, I used to work with Tim and had a great time and I was watching Tim's Facebook and saw all those great pictures that he's been sharing. So hi Tim. Thanks for tuning in. Nice and tight through the nape. Just elevating away from the hairline just to give a leave just a little bit of softness right the way through. So I've already put in the tightness around where the sectioning pattern is. And I'm gonna try and go as quickly as possible. I like to work relatively quickly. You know, I think it's important. When we're cutting hair in the salon, I yeah, book haircuts on the 45. And to me, that's plenty of time for me to, to create and get my shape in. Clean that area up just a little. Looking forward to the scissor over comb aspect of the cut. It's always nice when you have somebody that's a little bit creative, creatively minded in the chair. Uh, so you'll see just a little bit of softness as we work through. And I'm just peeling those fingertips just away. So March Madness, we're going to be uh, a lot of things going on for the Erosio brand in March. Tomorrow, I am leaving to go to uh, DC, where we're going to be working in the Cosmoprof stage, representing Goldwell, our color company of choice. And we also, on Monday, have an American Wave certification in Florida, who, what I like to call Flowrider. So if you want to get certified in American Wave, which I always say is the wave of the future, American Wave certification in Wellington at my uh, flagship ambassador salon, Visions. Then next weekend, it's the huge hairdressing weekender here in New York City. We have a lot of our ambassadors flying in from all over the country to share the culture of Erosia. We're gonna have a brand new state-of-the-art 
hairdressing booth at the trade show. We have classrooms where we're teaching American Wave. Main stage presentation will be on Sunday. And if you're joining us for the trade show, definitely check out a, a free event. It's called Arojo Underground. And Arojo Underground is a free event that we do in our Tribeca location. And uh, we'll be presenting some of our stylist's vision of what we believe are the trends of the future. So that's on next Sunday night. So we have a very busy weekend there, and I'll be teaching some razor cutting classes. We have Happy Mondays in New York as well, a week on Monday. That's Monday the 13th, I believe, or the 14th. I think it's the 13th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, then Lauren's presentation. Well, when's that? That's next Thursday. Yeah, what so date? That's the 9th. So it's starting off the whole <laughs> March Madness. March Madness uh, and then we're going to be heading off to Chicago. In fact, what we also have, we have this weekend, we have a uh, editorial styling class with Mr. Paul Merritt, a famous guy from England who works with us. If you're interested in signing up for a bit of passion for fashion, then that's Mr. Paul Merritt is going to be teaching along with Aziza and Alex who both signed up for the Mastered program. So they're excited because uh, they're focusing their skill set, working with Mastered and I believe it's Guido mm -hmm. that is running the program this year. I did it last year with Sam McKnight, so that's exciting stuff. I did it too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Boom. It was fun. Right, now let's just have a look here. See the hair grows up and in? So when the hair grows upwards, what we're going to do is we're going to put our comb right in. I'm going to take this off. Not my shirt, just the hair on the hairline. So we're just taking that away. And what that does is it creates space for the hair to sit just a little flatter. I like the idea of not going super tight here, just to give it a little bit more of a different feel. We are going to go nice and scissor over comb tight through the sides. So you just place your comb down and just a little bit of chipping through. Now let's continue on the journey, focusing just on the underneath of Lauren's hair. And then I'm gonna come to the front. So I'm gonna slide right by you in one second, Corinne. And I'll continue on my journey, just sliding through. <laughs> Hey Nick, uh, Lauren Schaefer said, I just visited the Soho Salon and want to get your product lint. I don't see it online. How well, can I get this it product here, American Wave Glint, is coming out at the official launch date for American Wave, part of our Match Madness, is the 13th of, 13th of, uh, of March. So we'll have that in stock by then. And in fact, it's being put on the website as we speak, but I don't think it will be available until then. We're going to take this in nice and tight, like a tiger. Uh, Jamaica Shearer is asking, why the zigzag parting? What does that achieve? What it achieves is what we're doing if we're looking for it. We're looking for slimness here, but to keep a little bit of weight through here. We're taking this shorter around the occipital bone, so it gives us a little bit of play either side so it collapses the shape in the center collapses it through the side but we're not eliminating all the side because we're going to have an asymmetrical feel and finish so going in nice and taut following through with my sections and my fingers on top of what I'm actually cutting so you take quarter inch sections it's just your thumb that does the, the moving, and you just work that down. I'm working with my Erosio B-Max shears. Ian Graham said you're grooving his melons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Ian, I wanted to twist your melons, man. <laughs> but that's only, we only do that on Happy Mondays. You're twisting my melons, man. Hey, Ian, thanks for tuning in, as always. And then towards the end of Chicago, 
I mean, towards the end of Chicago. Yeah, and then the towards the end of March, we're going to be going over to Chicago with our trade show booth, classrooms. We have our show, Erosia Expose, in Chicago. We are bringing in our famous DJ and um, performer, Mr. Wallace. If you've never seen Mr. Wallace, he's a post-gender rapper and he's amazing you got to check him out mr wallace we're going to have the party of the uh, america's beauty show and it's literally directly around the corner from the mccormick place so you can walk home final few sections and then i'm going to start to do some scissor over comb and we'll do a little bit of scissor over comb overview it's nice when you're cutting hair short to actually first cut it with your fingers so you can get it nice and clean and uh, it's just easier that way and it does make a difference when you're creating precision based hair cutting yeah, so even though we're making this quite graphic we're making this quite graphic I still want to have a little bit of softness to it I don't, I, it's, I don't want it to look extreme but I want it to look interesting so I'm all wrapped oh up God, in the cable aren't I? <laughs> Karun's wrapped me up. There's a cable power ca power cable. So I, I, I like that. Answer. You gotta do the little. Uh... My power cable. Okay, so now let's start some scissor over comb. Karun, you might want to spin around this way. I, I, you might be good. I don't know. Let me see if we can come this way. Tell me if this is a good angle. Yep. So I'm gonna come through with my shear. And see the, the we call this the spine of the comb. You want to keep your blade right at the spine of the comb as you just scissor over comb. And I don't want to take it too short that it ends up being aggressive because uh, we still want to keep it edgy but feminine. And this is going to be a combination scissor and razor. So right now I'm going to comb that. I'm going to place my finger behind the back of the ear, place my comb in and just get nice and tight behind the back of the ear. And you literally want to keep your scissor and your comb parallel as you work up to the initial starting section. And try not to disturb any of the hair that's in the clip. Right here, what we're gonna do is comb the hair down. I'm gonna rest the comb. It's like a pool cue. Rest the comb right on my fingertips and just chip away. Keeping it nice and soft. Always make sure right around the temple area, just by combing forward, just chipping in. That just tightens up that area. So in March, we have, oh, and we just launched a brand new product too, Renew. I don't even know if it's here. We sold out, we got the product in and we sold out straight away, didn't we, Karin? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so you see the softness here? I kind of like that. I'm just gonna chip in just a little. Comb through. I'm gonna come right in here. I don't know if my hand's right in front of the camera. You can always unplug Corinne and then plug back in. So just a little softness, a little bit of length just around the edges. I'll go with the wide teeth of the comb. It's a bit easier. It prevents you from going too tight to begin with. You don't want to take these clips out until you finish the underneath because it's going to be impossible to section the hair back once you've got these clips taken out. I like the little softness. It reminds me of like a little Chelsea, Chelsea girl. Just a little softness, just right on the edges. Are that your shoes squeaking, Corinne? Mm -hmm. You got squeaky shoes. You gotta oil those shoes. All right, now let's come over to the side that's already been pre-cut. This was a, her original haircut. So now let's just uh, 
tighten this up with a little scissor over comb. You see that the shortness is over the top of the head, so it's not perfectly balanced, so we've got to keep an eye on that. I don't, it doesn't need to be perfectly balanced, but I think what we'll do is we'll take that just a little tighter by cutting that in a little tighter. We can now scissor over comb to that place. So it's a nice day here in New York. Sun is shining, it's nice and blustery. We've not had too much of a winter. It's been very, very mellow. So that's been uh, exciting for us. I have three salons here in New York. I'm in the Brooklyn Salon, which is why we call it Brooklyn Live. And um, I have a cosmetology school. And we have an advanced academy where we have classes. We also have this month of Mad March Madness, cut and color inspiration. We're excited for that class where we do combination, where we cut one day and color the next. And then this year we're gonna be opening up our second cosmetology school. We're reopening our original facility, which we closed just so that we could transfer the uh, the licensing, the federal funding. So our plan is to open up our second cosmetology school in hopefully the late spring 2017. And at present we are working on putting together a new barbering program because we're gonna actually start teaching barbering, which we're really excited about. Again, just combing that hair down, combing that ear down and just chipping in just behind the back of the ear. Comb that hair forward, same deal. Just chipping around the ear. And we're getting close to kind of moving into the, uh, starting to drop some of these panels down. We'll be doing that shortly, which is where I'm gonna pick up my razor because of the, the style and the image of the cut. I wanna keep some softness to it. If you're interested in American Wave, that is our uh, texture service that has been blowing up. It continues to grow year on year. And we'll be doing certifications in Chicago and New York. Remember, it's a certified service. We don't let you carry the product, the waving lotion, unless you become certified. And Arojo as a brand is really championing texture and we have been for the last five years so feel free to ask questions if you have any questions I've got the lovely Corinne behind the camera and she'll be able to ask me and we'll be able to answer Art Cortez wanted you to know he's in Sicily drinking a beer <laughs> have a beer for me I, I think I saw a picture of you on Facebook yeah I've seen a lot of pictures of Art of, uh, on Facebook, that's great. And Michael turning 30. And Michael <laughs> turning 30. Corinne, you was out teaching this week. Where did you go? Yeah, uh, I got to teach in our Advanced Academy on Sunday. Um, and then I got to go up to Nyack, New York, um, to teach in D'Anthony's Salon. What was you teaching on Sunday in the Academy? Sunday was our retail success class. So um, we had 20 Erojo ambassadors. And... Um, you know, they get to learn a lot of product knowledge and usage and also kind of the theory behind successful retailing to clients. Did you get the chance to share the Erosio product line with everybody? Mm-hmm. I mean, the American Wave? Yeah, we worked it right in. You worked it we right in. It and we... Worked it right in. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Working it right in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to waste any time. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about what we've got. Let's have a look in the mirror. All right, now when we look in the mirror, what I see, she, uh, Lauren's got a lot of hair, mm -hmm. yeah, which is good. I, I think it needs to be a little tighter, especially through here. So I'm going to tighten that image up just a little. 
Nick, uh, Kathy Doss, Doss wants to know if you have any thoughts of coming back to Raleigh. Raleigh, yes, I do. I will be back in Raleigh before the end of the year for sure. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, my schedule is getting crazier and crazier. I've probably done about 50,000 miles already this year in the air. Uh, I've had four West Coast trips uh, already since the middle of January. We're on the road every weekend. I'm planning to get back to North Carolina and uh, I look forward to it. We have some great accounts in North Carolina. It's a very strong area for the Erosio brand. And, uh, and we love it. And I'd like to get back there. We had a great show there. We did an expose there last year. And it was a lot of fun. And, and I believe, Corinne, you came to North Carolina, yeah? Uh, no. I was a, Oh, you didn't get to go to that one? I Are you sure? I that show. I, I don't often get to go to the farther one. Oh, the father. But Florida, I got to go to Florida. Yeah, it was a nice hotel. West Palm Beach, that was the nicest hotel I've ever seen. Uh, Kimberly Burgess Crow wants to know, she said, Russ wants to know if you want to get a bourbon this weekend. They're coming into the city. Oh, <laughs> Russ, I'm going to be in D.C. <laughs> Aww. Uh, and, I, I, and I know that you've got great bourbon. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to be in D.C. I'm going to Atlanta to take clients on the 22nd of, uh, of March. So I'll be traveling out there. Maybe I'll see you there. I think you need to schedule a few more trips this month. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> what salon do you work out of in Atlanta? I work out of one of my uh, ambassador salons, uh, Intrigue. That's and Jeff's got his, uh, one of his great events on this weekend, Club Intrigue. He's got Sally Rogerson in his salon and teaching some classes. Okay, I think it's time for wine. No, I think it's time for me to have a look and pull out some of the sections. So let me pick up my razor and uh, let's start working on this area right here. Nick, Chris Harker wants to know, are you going to Nashville for Fashion Focus? At Nashville, I will be in Nashville. When is that? I think that's the beginning of April. Nashville, so hopefully you'll be able to come and see us then. We're excited, like Nashville. Nashville's a honky-tonk <laughs> place. It's a honky-tonky town. All right. I'm going to actually drop both of these panels down. Because now I've kind of scooped out the weight through the center. And let's see what we have. It's March, not April. It's what? You said it's March, not April. It is? What date? What date, Chris? What date, Chris? <laughs> Come on, Chris. What date? <laughs> and Tina Maxwell is asking, do you ever come to the Saratoga area? Saratoga? Where is it? Saratoga Springs. Where's Saratoga? I think that's Florida. Is it what? Flor oh, it's Florida. Yeah, I think I've been to Saratoga. Yeah. Okay, let's just start right in here. Let's simplify. I'm going to use the plane of the blade. This is a little bit more of a, a real kind of fashion forward technique. So we want to melt this hair away. And I'm using my straight edge blade and I'm just going to use the flat of the blade just to create as maximum transparency. March 19th to 20th. Aha, uh -huh, that's where I'll be. I told you, all part of March Madness. I look forward to seeing you there. So I'm combing this hair out. Now I'm gonna go in with the tip of the blade and I'm just tipping into that hair. Now this is the razor comb. I used it for the scissor over comb too, just to keep some consistency. Combing this hair back, and I don't want to take too much length out, so I'm just going to use the tip and create some transparency. So it's a combination scissor and razor haircut. The razor comb is important. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the bottom to marry into the softness that we have, which is already left. And the razor is going to help me take out some of the thickness or some of the fat in the hair. So this is a little bit more advanced, 
When it comes to razor cutting, we've really pioneered the razor technique and we teach classes all the time. If you're interested in purchasing a razor or you want to learn razor cutting, you can get a razor from erosiopro.com. That's our professional site for tools of the trade, our tools. And uh, also we have our subscription. And subscription is something that you can learn and then come to a class. You can come and see me in action at any of these shows. And March Madness, the shows are going to be the New York show. We're going to be all over the place in New York. Come and see me cut all day on my booth. Come and say hi. I have a lot of my friends flying in from all over the country to come and hang out with us. You can see us at Erosia Underground. You can see us at Happy Mondays. If you're here for the Hair Show Weekender, we have a Happy Mondays. We're excited about that. You can also see us this weekend. I'll be in Baltimore or DC at the Fashion Focus Cosmoprof. In the middle of the month, I'll be in Nashville teaching classes. I'll have, uh, you know, come and, and see my programs where I teach. See our inspiration. Chicago, we're going to be in Chicago. The big Chicago shows on at the end of the month. And we have classes at our New York Academy all month. So definitely see what we're doing. And you can always check me out every Thursday on Brooklyn Live. Unless I'm on a plane, then we'll change the time. But typically speaking, Brooklyn Live is every Thursday filmed here live in Brooklyn. Now, when you use the wide tooth of the comb, what it does is it gives the hair a little bit of air. So it kind of creates that softness, which is what we like. And I always say it's important not to have the hair too wet. Cut the hair from wet to dry. We're working with the Erosio Hydro Mist, and that's a great spray conditioner that doesn't add, it doesn't add oil to the hair, but softens and silkens. Karen's getting so close to me, she's going to see all the detail. Here. Good morning, Zach. Want to come and say hello to everybody? Zach. Look at that, Mr. Stripe. Mr. Stripe is here. Is that like a waistband? Let me show you a little open blade there. Oh, you got a lot of open blade. <laughs> so Zach, Zach is the, uh, the leadership team here. He runs this place with alongside Claire. And uh, he's a color specialist. And uh, yeah, we've been working on uh, our underground presentation. So we have on March 12th. I've been uh, playing with some Goldwell Illumin, and we've been working on different saturations and uh, kind of going from subtlety saturations into very uh, punchy nuances with uh, with the Goldwell Illumin. So it's been really fun this week. Are you going to give us a sneak peek of anything? Is there anything you can tell us, Zach? Oh, I don't know. I think we should save it. I do okay. have some photos, but... Zach, I've heard Zach likes a flavor saver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this oh. is looking nice. Yeah, it's cute, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's dial back in. Thanks, Zach. Great mm -hmm. to see you. Thanks for letting us come and hang out in uh, sunny Billyburg. It's <laughs> making the lights flash for me. It's a disco. So you can see here just kind of the razor blade in itself just helps to just create that little bit more freedom and looseness. And I'm just gonna bring the line up just a little. Calm that back. And then really the, the, the best part of this cut is gonna be dropping the top down because I like to drop it while it's hot. So we're gonna drop this down. Now the big triangular section on the top. We're gonna push this hair over. And now we're gonna work from, you know I'm gonna work from the back and then I'm gonna work from the front. When you have the underneath cut, the rest of the shape gets pretty simple. So now it's time to use your eye and your vision to make sure you're creating what you want to create. So you can see that it's trending short to long here. I like the idea of the length there, but we're going to simplify it. Haley Covington's asking, is the Hello, length Haley. already distributed? 
the length is already distributed and uh, we're refining simplifying and refining yeah that's what we're doing and I'm always just looking at shape and then we're gonna you know focus on the styling property and using product to create the texture that's part of what we do if you're interested we have our amazing Erosio product line which is a direct distribution business model I sell my products to hairdressers across America and uh, the brand is continuing to grow and we're looking to expand our network and uh, we're really excited about that we're really excited about meeting new friends expanding our network and we really are a true professional focused brand owned hundred percent by me you see by you collapse the shape out you can kind of see try and simplify everything if we can we're working on simplification and between every cut what you have to do is you have to look in the mirror yeah you're always scoping into the mirror because the mirror is going to tell you what you're creating so just to take a quick glance in there the mirror is always telling you what you're creating and that's really the development of your eye that's one of the things that you know and I worked for Bumble and Bumble Michael Gordon would always talk about the development of your eye your artistic uh, interpretation or vision and Michael has a very you know creative eye and he's got a great you know sense a great aesthetic and that's you know that's part of your lifetime journey developing and evolving your aesthetic and, and, and a lot of people don't think about it but I tell you it's a really important fact to think about your aesthetic because a lot of people they think about cutting and, and just creating shape you gotta think about your aesthetic. What's your aesthetic? It's very, very important. It's not just about, you know, your technical skill. It's about your style. It's about your look. It's about your feel. And that's what's gonna, you know, uh, help you build your reputation. So now working from the front, I'm not gonna shorten the hair. I'm just gonna use tipping just to create some transparency in the hair and just get that finish in touch. Now the nice thing with Lauren's hair, number one, is she's a creative girl, you can tell. Uh, and you know, you tell, you kind of get the sense and obviously she's a stylist and she's a talented stylist. But you know, this is the hairstyle that's gonna be noticed on the street. So this is where you really put your, uh, put your pedal to the metal and you maximize your potential. Think about that. This is like the money shot. Yeah, this is your money client. This is the client that's going to help you build your business because she's the client that's going to look different from everybody else. So always make sure if you're doing great cuts like this, you really, really connect with the client so that the client can actually be your walking muse and she can help you to build your clientele. And if you see anybody like this on the street, you go up to them to see if you can color their hair. Yeah, make them your client. Tip of the blade, softly working through. And then always having a look to see whether we're creating what she was looking for in the first place. I'm not going to wet the hair down really now. I'm going to start to work from more from wet to dry, coming from behind always glancing into the mirror to see what we're creating so we call this tipping and you'll notice in slow motion the tip of the blade just tips into the hair and this is going to create diffusion and softness it's important to uh, comb the hair around let the oxygen get in to the roots Push that hair around and see whether you're liking the profile shape, see you like where the way that the hair collapses. If it doesn't look so obvious, I think it looks nicer. And then you glance into the mirror and then you start to see kind of what's happening here too. So you have that shape, but you have that softness all at the same time.
Nick, um, Kimberly Crow is asking if the wave spray is available yet. Uh, the wave. I think she means Glenn. Yes, it, it is. Kimberly, it's going to be available online. And because uh, I know I tried it on your hair when you was in town. I think I might give it. Did I give it to you? I don't know. I might have given it to you. I can't remember. That's some samples. It is in the warehouse and it is in, uh, in my salon. It's going to be online, hopefully, in the next few days. The official launch for American Wave, which is right here. This is some of the Wave line. This one is Rogue. This is a co-cleanse, non-foaming cleanser. This is the Glint Spray. And you know how popular it is. Oh, there's a little left. I'm going to say it. It's like so light and empty. This one's hypnotic. This is our Curl Karma. This is our elixir. This is our defrizzing gel. So it's a line of products that sits on its own, but also sits in the, uh, the Erosio family. It's called American Wave because uh, we believe that it's, it's the, the whole concept of this is for wave, curl, and texture. And we have a shampoo and a conditioner to go with it too. Beautiful product. Nick, um, Ian's asking, what was the latest thing that inspired you and why? Oh, good question. <laughs> okay. The latest thing that inspired me. Let me think. It's going to take me a second. It's a big, deep question. No one does he want to know what inspired me, but why. I don't know. I suppose the latest thing that inspired me was watching three girls that came all the way to California to learn classic scissor cutting. And they live in Long Island and they work for a great ambassador salon called Richard's, Richard's Salon in Long Island. And they came all the way to LA uh, to train with me and they came to train classic hair cutting. What inspired me was their commitment and their excitement to learn how to focus on their classic cutting skills. Inspirationally, well, you know, I'm always inspired by uh, what my team does, and I always love and enjoy watching them work. And I'm looking forward to be inspired at a Rojo Underground, which I believe we should put on Facebook Live, Karen. What do you think? Should we do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right. I think we're getting real close. So when you get real close, you've got to change the hand. I've closed the razor. Let's start to have a look and kind of, again, push it round, push the hair round. And see what you can create. Because you don't, you know, half the time it's knowing when to stop. Yeah? You've got to know when to stop. So I think it's time for me to, because uh, I can do some more cutting with scissors once dry. Let me just push it that way. And let me just come through the underneath. The nice thing when you do these kind of cuts where you have openness. Well, what was that? The battery, I felt the battery just go. That was the iron. The iron. It's a great iron. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use an Erosio iron in the hair. I'm going to blast the hair dry. I'm going to use the Erosio iron. I'm going to use uh, some Erosio product. I'm going to go to my amazing product cart and see what's in the candy store. <laughs> do you have a white van? There it is. Sorry? <laughs> so do you have a white van? Do I have a white van? I do. For candy. For candy. Great. <laughs> There's the candy store. <laughs> this. Hello, welcome to my candy store. <laughs> this is the Erosio Belvedere station. It's like a tank. And I am going to pick out my little high uh, Shine Lux oil. The reason why is this is a heat. Uh, this, is, this is a heat protector, but it contains HYA. So it's a moisture builder. Moisture builder. I like that. Perfect. <laughs> this is how I do it. This is how we do it. I take about six drops. This is not a silicone. This is a high grade precious oil with hyaluronic acid, HYA, 
and that is going to help to put some moisture and some protection in the hair. Rub it into the hands and now let's work it right the way through. Always celebrate the product, celebrate the usage of the product, share with the client the unique benefits or as I like to call it the USP, unique selling point, unique benefit. Always think about retailing as solving problems, creating solutions. Really work that hair through. And now we're gonna power dry. So I'm gonna take my Erosio dryer, twin turbo, Parlux motor, monster dryer. We're gonna blast. Use the hands. And what we're doing here is we're also using our eye to have a look and see how the hair's sitting. When it comes to styling, we like to make the styling just as important as the haircut. Without hair product, styling is less fun. With hair product, styling is a lot of fun. Obviously, when you're cutting your clients, the key thing is to make sure that the client gets connected to what you recommend so that they can recreate the style at home. We know as a business owner, I know that if the client is actually purchasing the product, it means that the stylist is talking to the client about the, uh, about the hair. When the client doesn't purchase the product, I know that the stylist is not talking about the hair product. So it is really, really important. And I think for any hair, young hairdresser, or seasoned hairdresser like me, it's important to really make sure that you own the uh, opportunity. We're living in a world today where a lot of acquisition of product is done online, but you have and you will always have a client in your chair, so you should use that moment to educate the client. Otherwise the client's not going to get educated because in the 90s, the clients were self-prescribing in the, in the, they were prescribing in the drugstores. And then in the 2000s, that was happening to two. Now we've got Sephora, Ulta, all of these other places. And we also have Amazon. And people are spending more time purchasing products from home, not knowing what the product's gonna do. So they're buying blind. So please make sure that you're selling with intention and recommending with intention. So I'm kind of messy and loose, but I'm going to iron it too. I'm going to play with some products because we have 10 minutes left of our Brooklyn Live, which is today, March the 2nd. Second. second or the third? Second. Number two. Shaking it through. Now, we're always looking at your haircut in 3D. Yeah, so you want to see the side. See what you got. Dryer's off. I'm going to put the dryer back in. It's time for a little bit of iron work. Again, just gonna polish up the hair a little bit more. I'm gonna keep the cape on for now. Uh, I'm gonna work with my Rocho clips. And we're just gonna smooth out the hair. Remember that the, uh, the Shine Lux oil is gonna help with the protection. And then we're gonna build the hair in with some more Rocho product. Just check the temperature. I don't want the temperature to be over 400 degrees. I like to do it a little bit uh, I like 370 is my perfect heat. Now this is the Erosio smoothing iron. It's a great iron. 
it's kind of, we like to call this the workhorse because it's a little bit thicker. The nice thing about it is it has these, the plates are behind the lip. So even though it gets super hot, you can't really burn your client because you're protected by the lip. You have a little closure here, and then you also have a temperature gauge. We have a newer version, which I have in my Tribeca location, but here in Brooklyn, this was the old original, and the newer version's even better. But they're all really good. Just working through, smooth out the ends. Yeah, I like the iron a lot because you can still, you know the new trending thing to like curl with the iron as well? Yes. You can still do it with that as, and it's, it's nice to have both. It's great, yeah, because it's nice to curl with a flat iron because yeah. it gives it a little bit more of a modern wave as opposed to a curl. Yeah. Kim Kardashian was so five years ago. <laughs> so comb that hair through, run the iron through, follow the uh, follow the comb with the iron and this is just giving that extra polish and finish to the hair. Nick, uh, is the butter in a one inch or a one and a half inch? This is a one and a half inch and it's a long plate so I like to call it the work cost because it's not too skinny. It can do all kinds of lengths of hair. So it hits right in the middle. It's not, it's not like the two, two and a half. Again, check it out on the Rojo Pro. And again, remember that if you're interested in anything on a Rojo Pro, we didn't do a promo code last week. We're not doing them every week, but if you are interested, special promo code. What's it called? March Madness. March Madness. That's that promo code. That'll be available till tomorrow night. Check out clips, grips, scissors, combs, tools, razors, underwear. Well, maybe not. Clips, keep it clean, nice and simple. The great thing about those Erosio clips is they've got a really great point to them. Just follow that. And the nice thing about the iron is it's got really curved edges. So you can just bevel the hair in. If you're looking for class inspiration, Erosio's got a lot of class inspiration on. Uh, in March, starting this weekend, we have... Um, we have a styling class with Mr. Paul Merritt, Aziza, and Alex. So if you want to really study your fashion styling and get behind the editorial experience, it's a two-day editorial class. Also, we have on Monday in Wellington, Palm Beach, uh, Wellington, sorry, in Wellington, Florida, at our Vision Salon, we have our uh, American Wave certification. Next weekend at the New York show, if you're coming in for the New York show and you want to get certified in American Wave, the wave of the future, you can get certified at the show, special show prices. Everything is visible on my erosionyc.com website. We're also going to be main stage inspiration. We're also going to be sharing with you our razoring classes. We have razoring classes. And uh, we're going to be cutting all day for the three days on our state-of-the-art trade booth. Excited about that. And then uh, we have our Rojo Underground, which is on Sunday night. Sunday the... 12th. Sunday the 12th. And then we have Cut and Color Inspiration later on in the month. If you want to come for a combination class, Cut and Color. So we've got a busy schedule, that's why we're calling it March Madness. Nick, um, Ian's asking for products. What percentage of upsell do you set um, for your team, for the guests? We don't do anything to do with percentages. We think percentages, I think percentages are a thing of the past. We focus on dollar per client. The average retail ticket in America is literally around $6 per client. That's the average retail ticket. So we like to have an we like to aim for an average retail ticket of eighteen dollars a client, which is still less than one product, but it's three times the average. So that's what we focus on, and I don't bother with their percentages. 
We're also getting ready to start announcing what we're going to be doing for Expo. That's our big show. The one thing that I'll tell you about Expo that we do every year here in New York is uh, our Expo's show is a two-day symposium. We focus on business, we focus on creativity. It's our two-day gathering. And uh, we're going to do a big thing focusing on women power. <laughs> we're going to celebrate the great females of our industry this year in 2017. So stay connected. You can always connect with us. What are we on? What, what's our connector, Corinne? Arojo Social. Arojo Social. So if you're interested in Arojo, if you want to stay connected to us, sign up for Arojo Social. It's an online app. You can sign up for it, check out Arojo Social, and stay connected to us. You, if you have questions for me, that's the best place to find me. Because uh, you can send me a direct message through Arojo Social, and we can answer any of your questions. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way for us to communicate and connect to all of our friends and uh, all of our ambassadors. Also, if you're interested in getting Arojo products and joining part of our club, you can just send me an email, nick at arojonyc.com, and you too can be part of our, uh, get, get connected to our culture and be part of the club. We're an inclusive brand. So what I mean by an inclusive brand is we like to uh, bring people into our platform. We like to share the platform with our ambassadors. You're going to see when you come and see us at any of the trade shows, the people that are working on our booth are our ambassadors along with the Erosio team, because we like to uh, make it very, very inclusive. All right, so I've worked the iron through. You can see that smoothed out all the hair. Uh, and now it's time for me to pick up my skizzer, otherwise known as a scissor. We have these amazing BMAC shears that were made specifically for Erosio. And I'm gonna pick them up. I'm gonna do a little refining, and then we're gonna finish up Lauren's hair. We have about another five minutes left. So if you're interested in asking any questions, then now's the time. We can answer them for you. I'm just gonna refine a little bit right in here. So again, my clip works out really good. Just do a little bit of refining right in here. Up and over the head, I'm gonna cut that in tight. So to style the hair, we use just one product, which is the Erosio Shine Lux Oil. It's a high-grade oil that will help to add moisture and softness to the hair. Now, Kelly Covington says, I just can't get into a five and a half inch shear. Um, what will make me love it help? <laughs> well, you know, go big or go home, eh, Haley? Go big or go home. You know what? I'll tell you. This is a five. It's a five-inch shear. And I used to love my big scissors, like seven, seven and a half inch. But when you want to do precision-based work, it's very difficult. And when I worked with this, we have two different scissors uh, available. We have our Mizutani. That's our 5.5 inch shear. That's, we call that the Mizutani Slim. It's a skinny shear. The best thing about this shear is just the balance and the weight. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, but I understand, because I went through a phase where I didn't like anything small. I only liked it big. Stop smiling, Corinne. <laughs> but now I'm back for small. What I like, I like big scissors for long hair, small scissors for short hair. But you know, everyone has their own personal taste. But what I'll tell you is if, if for anybody out there watching, and even for you, Haley, this small shear is a beautiful shear because it's thick. So it may be small, but it's thick. Nick, um, Derek Mosher is asking, will your website be offering a Rojo capes or seven inch shears or Marcel irons in the future? Yes, Derek Moser, and I see you kind of got to meet Corinne, didn't you? She he popped oh, in to yeah. say hello. Yeah, Derek, how are you? Um, yes, capes for sure. Uh, seven inch shears, we do not have any on, on schedule. Uh, but anything that we make, 
we're going to make available on a Rojo Pro. So, and if there's stuff like, I noticed that we don't even sell the bendies or the soft tools on there yet, but we will be. Trust me, we are so busy trying to keep up with all the different things that we do, which is on the one hand exciting, on the other hand, it's, it's exhausting. But you know, that's the power and the price of uh, trying to create some success. So, but thanks Derek, and thanks for all your support, and thanks for tagging us on all your posts, and hopefully one day we'll get to work together. Just cleaning up the hairline just a little, just a little chipping in there, just a little bit of softness. I kind of like the softness there. I like the softness because it kind of blends in. So it doesn't look so obvious. And I like my work to, even if it's going to be quite tight, I like my work to have a soft feel to it. Yeah, I like my, uh, I, I like hard things too, but you always have to tailor it to the person. Honestly, it's all about your vision. I'm going to come through here. I'm going to lift this hair up. And I can do what I call seal the cuticle without taking too much hair away. And I can also come on the inside of the hair if need be. So the first thing is you just lock in. And I'm literally just fanning the hair out. So you see, you just fan it out. I like a nice fan it out. Coming through. And again, just locking. Now, if I want to come inside, I can just come inside and just chip. This is a nice way to create that razor effect just by chipping the edges. You don't see a lot come out there, but you comb it. There it is. Nick, um, Ashley New is asking, do you sell white cutting capes? Oh, no, Ashley. We just have black, and I'll tell you why. I, we used to have white cutting capes. But white cutting capes don't wear well. And what that means is when a client, I tell you, clients always comment on my black capes. When you're cutting with a black cape, number one, it stays cleaner looking, even though they're really good. But I always found the white cutting capes just didn't work out so well. I believe we used to work, use white cutting capes at Sassoon years and years ago. But, you know, once you go black, you stay black. Um, Jennifer Newman's asking, do your shears come in a lefty? They do. Yeah, we made them in lefties too because we love our lefties. Yeah, so if you're interested in the shears, they come in lefties too. And they may be $10 more. The price of the scissor is $3.35 online with our 20% code, which we, we're calling this month. We're calling the code for the next two days, March Madness, because we are mad in March. <laughs> Uh, if you're interested, check them out. I know you won't be disappointed. If you're going to be at any of the trade shows, come and see us at the trade shows. Probably going to be around the same price. You can put them in your hand and feel them. And as far as trade, trade shows go, we're looking at doing two trade shows this, this month. That'll be the New York show and the, uh, and the Chicago show. So we're excited to be uh, at both places, both arenas, both venues, sharing our commitment back with, uh, with our fellow hairdressers. Nick, uh, Tina Maxwell said, sorry, she was with the client. She missed what you said about coming to Saratoga. Uh -huh. Do you have anything set? I have nothing set, but Saratoga is, uh, we're going to look into it. But stay connected and stay focused and see what we're doing. And we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah. I mean, literally, we work, I work seven days a week. I'm all over the place trying to build my culture and my brand, my business. And uh, here's one thing that we're about to launch in the late spring. We're going to be launching a program because we want to extend our education team. So we're going to be launching a program and a process for Orojo artists. And that means that we're going to be uh, auditioning. So if anyone that's interested in being connected to a Rojo, you can audition. And then the, the people that will win will join the team. And you'll be an independent artist and be called upon because I see that in 2018, I would like to have a lot of Rojo artists all over the country helping to deliver and spread the educational message across the country. 
So stay tuned. The prerequisite is you will have to be connected to us through products. It doesn't matter if independent hairdressers we love. There's a lot of them. We want to build our education team. We want to train it. We want to expand it above our base. We want to create opportunities not only for my own stylists that work directly for me. We also want to create opportunities for stylists all over the country that can help us as we continue on developing our educational programs. I think we kind of did enough cutting. What do you think? So far so good? Yeah, I love it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so now I think it's time for me to go in before we kind of create our finishing touch. And I'm gonna go in there with, uh, what do you think I should use, Corinne? Uh, I mean, if there's any glint left, I think you should. We'll finish with Go glint. for the glint. We'll finish with glint, but I'm going to put some foundation in with our product called Refinish. Refinish is my, um, it's my dry shampoo texture spray, one of our hero products. The product we can barely keep on the shelf. Mm -hmm. I think we only have the small ones, actually. We only the have the small size. ones. We can't keep yeah. it on the shelf. No. small one. <laughs> Got a big one here. Zach. Zach. Oh, see him. Yeah. It's okay. I got my little bullet. <laughs> if you've not seen this, it's okay. I was looking for my... So, Papa Bear <laughs> and Baby Bear. This is our refinish. This is one of our major hero products. The Erosio Refinish Dry Shampoo. Texture spray and a dry shampoo. It's going to build bulk into the hair. You can see what we've got. We've got like this nice dewy, dewy finish. <laughs> dewy. So I'm just going to pump up the, the jam. Pump it up a little higher. So we like to take strips. What have you got there, Mr. Zach? I decided to give you a little sneak peek. Oh, we're getting the sneak peek. Come on, bring in the sneak peek. Mm. There's the selfie from the beautiful model right after we did it. Whoa. That's one of them. I Sneak peek for Erosio so Underground. Underground, yeah. yeah. It's March 12th, 7 o'clock. We have, I think, 15 different teams from the Erosio team and a couple of our ambassadors. We're going to be sharing our inspiration. It's going to be a fun night, and the best part about it, it's completely complimentary. RSVP, go to Erosio NYC. To RSVP, because you're down with me. We're going <laughs> to RSVP. This is dead. This is finished. Can you get me another bullet, please? Yeah. So this is the refinished dry shampoo. It's our hero product. We got 75 cases from the manufacturer. They filled us. They give us a, a rush fill shipment. 75 cases were sold out within now this 12 in a case, I believe sold out within three hours so it's an in-demand product and you see what it does is it just adds bulk it needs to be in everybody's session kit now the key thing is is a dry shampoo it's completely clear see so she's covered in it now so anything you know if it's black you can spray it's not powdery it's a dry starch that just builds bulk and hold but it's touchable so it's kind of like a dry finish it's an amazing product. And we're just putting this in, and then towards the end, I'm gonna go in with my glint to go wild and crazy. So if I was using hairspray here, hairspray would be very tacky. It would be sticky. So I don't wanna use hairspray, because I want it to be touchable. So it's a bulk builder. I'm just gonna come in through the back. <laughs> Smells awesome too. In fact, one of the girls said to me, it smells like a man. I don't know what's man, if it smells like a man, it probably smells awesome. It smells good though. Nick, um, Ashley News asking, can clients only purchase your product line in salons? 
Say that again. Can clients only purchase your product line in salons? Salons, and we sell it on our own website. Yeah. We try to kind of, we're, we're building the brand. So we're very protective of the brand. And we focus very much through salons, and that's what we want to do. But we've got to build our brand. And if you're interested, actually, in carrying a Rojo product, get connected. We sell it to independent hairdressers. We are an independent manufacturer. Look at what this product did. Mm -hmm. See, it just completely changed her hair. I love how much texture it gives. It gives a lot of texture, doesn't it? So and it's a dry texture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a dry texture. So you see how much it's kind of totally changed the fabric of the hair. Uh, not oily or greasy. It's given it, you know, uh, this like bulk, it kind of creates bulk in the hair. And now we'll just put a little light drying in there and I'll finish with my American Wave. Yeah, Ashley said she's an independent and she wants a product that's not on every shelf in every store. Well, then get connected to Erosia. Yeah, intro package is $520. You get our Hero products. We have over 40 products, but we give you our Hero package. You get connected. And then maybe we try and interview out for uh, our artistic team, which will be called our Erosia Artists. Yeah, and that's something that we're going to launch later on this year. You can see what that product just did. Better than a hairspray. Oh, yeah. You tell, you tell it what you want to say. There you go. Now, don't forget, this is Lauren. <laughs> and Lauren is taking her color test out next Thursday in Brooklyn. We will be back here again next Thursday for Brooklyn Live. Mm -hmm. But we will also pop Lauren's presentation test out on Brooklyn Live mm -hmm. so people can see what it is like and what you have to create. Now, she's a very talented, great colorist. She's been coloring for how long, Lauren? About five years. About five years yeah. she's been a colorist. And uh, she joined the team a couple of, uh, at the beginning of the year, yeah? Yeah. And she's been doing some training to refine and polish up some of her skills and understand the Erosio techniques because we're very brand specific and uh, she'll be taking clients uh, next week once she's kind of done a test out it's going to be really great for us to see yeah. her grow in our culture and she's making it happen come and see the back so you see what this is what the good stuff is so it just collapses so somebody asked me earlier why did you make it short in the center we made it short in the center so that it just collapses and creates a really nice profile shape. Head up, just creates that little nice profile shape. I've got, I think, just a bissel. <laughs> just a bissel of glint. Is that a technical term? I said there isn't any. No. It's no, completely gone. Over it. Everyone uh, wants we need more. <laughs> There is none in there. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you what we wanted to achieve. And then we'll say goodbye. If you have a question, you can ask before we say goodbye. I gotta go on to my day. I got clients today in my Soho location. So, this was kind of like, hold up. This is our desired look. So we went for that. We kept some a little bit of length through the back. We also have a different, some different images of it here. I'll spin Lauren round. <laughs> Show you the sides. So you can see that we managed to create a little switch play inspiration from the image that she's holding right now. And I think we did a pretty good job. She has the look and the feel. We finished it up with a little bit of uh, Shine Lux oil, then some dry shampoo, 
which is the Erosio Refinish Dry Shampoo. And, uh, and that's it. It's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from her. Thank you so much for tuning in to uh, Brooklyn Live. Don't forget our pro code, um, Match Madness. We'll see you next Thursday if we don't see you sooner. If you're going down to the DC show this weekend, I have seven classes, so I'll be teaching with my creative team. And uh, have a happy Thursday. Thanks a lot.